Okay, in this episode we are going to learn how to pass the variables and elements present in an array to a function in a C program. You can pass the elements of an array to a function in two ways. First one is the pass by value and second one is the pass by reference. So in the first case you have to pass the copy of each element to that function and in the second case you have to pass the memory address or the memory location of each elements in an array to that particular function. So in this program here I already declare and initialize an integer array that containing four elements and here I'm going to create a function called display display okay now I need to pass all the elements present in this array to this function so for passing value for, for passing each element present in this fun in this array to the function we need a loop so for using the loop here I declare a variable I no need to initialize it here and I start a for loop i equals 0 initialize the variable i with the value 0 so here we have to pass four elements so we can put the condition like this i less than or equal to 3 and update the variable okay now we have to pass each element in this array to the display function so i have to call the function display and pass each element so n of i this is pass by value because here we are not passing any address here we just pass the copy of each element present in this array so in this function for receiving the receiving each value we need a variable so i declare an integer variable here this is the actual argument and now here I'm going to print all the variables x equal to percentage d okay so this is pass by value because here we just pass the copy of each element present in that array to this function okay now we can check the program so I compile the program now the compilation is success now run the program okay we got the output this is how we pass each element present in an array to a function now you can use the pass by reference so in the case of pass by reference instead of the copy of variable you have to pass the address of each element so for passing the address of each element you can put the address operator so here it pass the address of each element present in this array so for receiving the address you need a pointer here so instead of a normal integer variable here I use an integer pointer as argument for this function so for displaying the value present in that particular memory location you have to put a star here so this is a pointer declaration and here it print out the value present in that particular location so we can check the program again so I compile the program now we can run it again we got the same output 